Hello great minds, welcome to another lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number 13. Test 13. And in this test, we are going to be discussing three examples. Alright, so let's begin with the first one. In this first example, we are going to be making use of addition, subtraction, multiplication. We also make use of division and of course imaginary number two. First, let's begin with the picture. We have four numbers on the picture. The number on top is larger than the rest. Of course, the ones under are smaller. But we are going to start by looking at the first number on top. When we look at the picture, we know they are connected to 20. That is 4 and 5 are both connected to 20. And let's see this connection. If we multiply the number in the 4 position and the 5 position, that is 4 times 5, what we get is 20. So, it means to get the number in the 20 position, we simply multiply. Alright, you can see. 4 times 5 is 20. Alright, if we decide to find the number in the 5 and the 4 position, we are going to do the same thing. We simply divide the 20 by the available number. So if we wish to find the 4, we are going to make use of the 20 and the 5, of course. On the board, we start with the 20. We divide the 20 by the 5 and when we do this we will get 4 so this is why 4 is on that position so the same thing we do to get 5 all right let's do the last number on the picture which is 3 now to get this 3 we must start with the 4 on the left side. We multiply by the imaginary 2. Okay? So when we multiply 4 by the imaginary 2, what we are going to get is 8. Alright? 8. So what do we do with the 8? Of course, we subtract the number on the right side, which is the 5, from it. So what we get is 3. That is how to get the number in the 3 position. Okay. Alright, now let's move to the next example. In the second example, we are going to make use of addition, subtraction, division, and the remainder from the division. Alright. So let's begin with this tricky one. There are three numbers in these three examples. The first example has 25, 4, and then a 1. Now we make use of the 25 and the 4 to get a 1. Alright? So if we, for example, want to get the number in the 1 position, which is actually a remainder, we divide the 25 by the 4. Or we divide the 20 number in the 25 position by the number in the 4 position. Now we are definitely going to get a remainder. In this case, we are going to have 6 remainder 1. 6 remainder 1. So that is why we have 1 in that position. However, having gotten the number on the right hand side of the equal equality sign. To get the other two numbers, uh, it'll be tricky. We don't have a direct method for getting it. What we do is to make use of the options that are given. Okay? We test the options that are given to be able to get the 4 and the 25. Let's take the last example, which is example number 3. 
in this example we'll make use of addition we will also make use of subtraction multiplication is there and division also all right so let's begin on this picture we have four numbers then the first number we want to look at here is the number 16 this number 16 is connected to the number on its sides the 2 and the 8 so when you think properly you discover that if you multiply 2 by 8 you are going to get 16 so we simply multiply the number in the 2 and 8 position to get the number in the 16 position as you can see all right if we want to get the number in the 14 position or 14 we simply make use of the 16 and the 2 now when you think carefully you will discover that subtracting 2 from 16 we give us 14 so to get the number in the 14 position we subtract the number in the 2 position from the number in the 16 position as you can see also all right now finally to get the number 8 or the number 2 we do the same thing by simply dividing 16 by the given number so if we want to get the 8 we go straight to the board now and divide the 16 by the 2 okay that is 16 divided by 2 all right so the result is 8 so this is how we get the number in the 8th position all right this is all we are going to take on this video hope you had fun watching and learning in today's class i encourage you to do your quiz your content page quiz and your assignment thank you for watching i'll see you in the next class Bye.